Good morning. In 1969, as a young boy, I watched the unfolding drama of a lunar landing on the TV. I noticed a beautiful blue ball at the edge of Armstrong's camera. That was planet Earth and it looked so beautiful. That day it struck me that I was actually a citizen of this beautiful planet and not just a country. I promised that in my own little way, I would try to keep our planet as pristine as it looked that day. Today, as a socially responsible business and tech leader, my interest lies in using tech to support sustainability in as many areas as possible. Therefore, I'd like to discuss a new growth area today, the impact of agri-tech or precision urban farming on sustainability in Singapore as an example. Singapore covers five, 700 square kilometers packed with 5.7 million people. There's little land to till. So as we say in Singlish, so how? I'd like to focus on three issues. The current global challenges of sustainability in our food and agri chain, Singapore's use of agri-tech to ensure food security and self-reliance, and the benefits of agri-tech for a dense metropolis like Singapore. So first, let me share some shocking facts regarding agriculture in the world today. Quarter of the global greenhouse gases come from the food industry. Half of the world's land, excluding of course ice and desert, is used for agriculture. 70% of global fresh water is used for agri purposes and 77% of global farming land is used for livestock. And the list goes on. Clearly agricultural practice need a drastic overhaul around the world. And it brings me to my second point. First, there's an over-reliance on food imports with complex cross-border supply chains and cold chains. In the early days of COVID, panicky consumers stocked up. Second, the Singapore current food production is only 10%. Only till 2016, only 1% of our land was used for farming. In 2018, 13% of vegetables, 9% of fish and 24% of all eggs consumed in Singapore were locally farmed. Fortunately, steps have been taken to address these issues. The government is accelerating an R&D program and liberal tech grants for local food producers within the much publicized 30 by 30 scheme, a bold and ambitious government-led plan to meet the country's nutritional needs by up to 30% by 2030. And that's brilliant. To date, Singapore Food Agency has allocated $40 million to accelerate local food production under the scheme and nine companies have awarded grants to accelerate local food production and urban farming using high-tech building blocks like IoT, cloud, AI, and even blockchain. These are words we associate with tech jargon and not farming. In addition, permission has been given to some to use government land to set up vertical agri tech farms using car parks, rooftops, in public housing and we have 11,000 such public housing buildings in Singapore. So let me give you a few examples of agri-techs being incubated in Singapore today. We have a high-tech indoor vegetable farm with vertically integrated system employing soil-based hydroponic cultivation in a fully controlled pesticide-free environment. It leverages AI and advanced control systems to achieve optimum growing conditions all year round with IoT. We also have an indoor leafy green farm with racking systems <clears throat> 6.5 meters high. These incorporate hybrid nutrient film techniques that use only a fraction of water associated with hydroponic systems. They will also have highly efficient 5G lighting systems and a smart agro network enabled independent control systems which allow ongoing monitoring and control of environmental parameters. Eggs form a staple in most households and today we have egg houses that are equipped with integrated climate control systems along with egg and manure collection systems that will allow hatcheries to minimize egg production and maximize production. This brings me to my last point, the benefits of agri-tech for a dense metropolis. In Singapore, for example, with extensive use of agri-tech, 800 towers on one hectare can produce 840 tons of leafy 
vegetable, which is six times a normal productivity. If 2,000 tons are used, we can easily grow 2,100 tons of food sustainably. By developing strong capabilities in agri-tech and urban farming, we will encourage other metros to scale up. As well, in this process, Singapore could position itself as a center of excellence and creator of intellectual properties in agri-technology and sustainable urban farming. It did this when about a decade ago, it became a global champion in what urban water recycling. In the end, let me summarize. Precision urban farming with agri-tech is critical to increasing agricultural output and also to improve food security and self-reliance. Singapore government has taken lead to support the initiative both by putting public lands to dual use and by funding private enterprises to incubate new agri-tech units. So hopefully in the next moon landing, the earth will still look beautiful, inspiring all those who view this magical site like I did decades ago as a young boy. Thank you very much for your time and patience.